Today, on this first day of June 2023, Skylum has dropped another update for Luminar Neo, version 1.10.0. I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor, and in this video, I'm going to show you what's new in this latest update and tell you how you can save 10% off if you want to purchase Luminar Neo for yourself. So if you're ready, let's dive in. First thing we need to do is to download and install the update. In order to find it, you may get notification when you launch Luminar Neo for the first time today. If you miss it, just click on the logo and check for updates. You'll see the information there on update 1.10.0 and the button to install it. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be right back. That didn't take very long. I have a pretty fast internet connection, so it went pretty quickly. There are five main things to note in this update. First, Upscale AI has received a significant update. So we'll take a look at that one and see if the face enhancer is any better. Second, you can now simplify the right-hand panel in the catalog module by collapsing the extension panels. Next, there's an info button on all the tools now available, as well as number four, a new onboarding experience to give you information about the various different panels. And finally, you can now purchase additional assets like skies and LUTs right from the application itself. As well as those five things, there are also a number of different bug fixes and performance enhancements. So let's take a look at the things that I just mentioned. The first and most important improvement is to upscale AI. Previously, I've run a few images through the app and use the face enhancer. This first one, I've cropped fairly significantly and then upsized it. You can see the original image is much larger and I cropped down to just her face. Then I ran it through Upscale AI using the face enhancer. Here you can see the original and the enhanced face. This one is actually not bad and it smooths her skin and removes some of the noise. But it didn't do as well previously on a few other images. Let's take a look. This one was also cropped fairly heavily down to just her face. And when I upscaled it using Face Enhancer, you could see that it blurred the skin and it significantly changed the facial features as well as it's done some odd things to the hat. Look at the hat and her face in the before and after. Again, this is Upscale AI 1.0. We're gonna run it through the new version and see if it's any better. So let's do that. I'm going to drop it into upscale. And now with the three dots, you can choose upscale type as well. You have universal and experimental as the options. I'm going to stick with universal and I'm going to check off the face enhancer AI. Let's just upscale two times and see how that goes. Okay, let's take a look. Here's the original cropped image. This is the first version using Upscale 1.0, and here's the new version. It has a slight improvement, but not significant enough for me to use it on this image. So if I was going to upscale, I would do this image without the face enhancer checked off. Let's look at one more example where the Upscale AI failed on the original version. This is a stock image and I wanted to see what the face enhancer would do here with the blemish and some of the lighting on the face. That's version 1.0. And as you can see, she kind of looks like a cyborg. It's done some strange things to her eye. I'm gonna run it through the Upscale AI 2.0 and let's take a look at that. While I'm here, I'll also mention the ability to now collapse any of the extensions you're not using. You'll notice that I have to scroll down to get to upscale. So if I'm not using HDR merge, you can just click on the title or the name of the extension and it will collapse. You can also use the little triangle on the right. So let's drop this in using the same settings and face enhancer and give it a whirl. Once again, here's the original version 1.0 and version 2.0. So you can see that it did a slightly different variation here, but we've still got this odd thing happening with her eye. So while it's done a nice job on her face on this side, it didn't 
interpret the lighting on this side of her face very well. So I've thrown some pretty challenging images at this one and it's handled some of the things better now, but there's still room for improvement, which I expect with every update that comes from Skylum. So upscale AI, I would still recommend not using the face enhancer. Go in and use the portrait tools separately so that you can make the adjustments that you want and you have more control that way. The next update or improvement that I mentioned is the info buttons. If you open any of the tools now, you'll see over here on the right, a little eye in a circle, which is kind of the universal symbol for info. If you click it, you'll get some information that pops up immediately about that tool and what it does. If you want even more information, just click the link at the bottom here that says learn more. You'll be taken to the Luminar Neo online user manual and it jumps directly to the page for that tool. So you can read more about how to use it. If you are brand new to Luminar Neo, you can also go through the onboarding steps. You can go to the help menu, choose onboarding, and you'll get some information about each of the tabs. Catalog, presets, edit, the extras tab at the top, and export. The final update is in the extras panel. So if you click on the little jigsaw puzzle button up in the top right corner, previously we used this to install extensions. Now you can get your X membership assets here, as well as make marketplace purchases directly from inside the app. You can filter them. I recommend looking at the portrait presets. And if you scroll down and look for this image right here, you'll find my set called Fabulous Faces. You can add it to your cart, view information, and see some before and afters of what some of the presets do, and purchase it right from here. When you complete the process, they'll be added directly to your Luminar Neo app automatically for you, so it's super handy. You'll find them in the Presets module under Purchased. You'll see my Fabulous Faces preset collection right here. Now, even if you don't do portrait photography, presets that are designed for one type of photography can be used on any image. So don't let that limit how you think about using each preset collection. For example, here's a city scene and you can use any of the presets on it and you'll see the effect that it's going to have. And just to give you a little sneak preview, I'm working on a new set of black and white presets. Again, they're specifically for portraits, but you can use them on any kind of image. Here's a little preview. I'm trying to create some that are quite different and give you some different looks for your portrait images. So look for those coming soon in the Skylum Marketplace and on the Digital Photo Mentor website. I mentioned earlier, if you'd like to purchase Luminar Neo and you haven't taken the plunge yet, if you use our coupon code DPM10, you'll get 10% off when you check out. To get all the extensions, I recommend getting the monthly pro plan. If you need help learning the program, once you get it, check out Luminar Neo The Complete Course. It has over 16 hours of video tutorials for you, including Q&A answer sessions, raw files to practice with, and each tool is covered step by step. If you'd like to watch another video tutorial here on YouTube, check out one on the screen now.